What's up? What it do? It's your girl Nia C, and we are live with another episode of Bonnet Confessions on Ratchet Life TV, baby. So, on this episode, I have a friend. Her name is C Flat. She is the co creator of this whole Ratchet Life business that we're about to venture into and she wanted to ask me a question and she want me to ratchet like her so i'm gonna ratchet like that bitch because that's what we do okay hey boo before we get into all of that i just want to take a brief moment and voice some concerns i have about the progress of this nation that we live in i just feel like it's 2014 and it gets up to 115 to 20 degrees everywhere in America from the West Coast to the East Coast every summertime right for the last I don't know how long because every slavery movie I watch is hot as hell <laughs> so at least that long since slavery days it's been that hot and we have invented many things, many, many, many things like the microwave, the refrigerator. Uh, I'm not talking black people, I'm talking about us as a nation. We have invented things, uh, peanut butter, um, cars, lawnmowers, washing machines, dishwashers. Why on earth has nobody, nobody created titty deodorant? Don't worry, I'll wait. Because as the second fattest nation in this country, and I'm sorry, in the world, you would think that we would have come up with a solution to stop my boobs from sweating every damn day because I can't take it anymore. I'm over it. I, I look like, first of all, because of the sweat, a glazed chocolate donut that somebody left in the sun. It's a puddle of chocolate at my feet everywhere I go. Second of all, I keep feeling like something is crawling inside my shirt and it ain't nothing but sweat. It's just sweat. And don't be trying to look at me like it's a fat girl problem because I know skinny girls who have boobs that sweat. And it is a man boob epidemic in this damn country and I know damn well they boobs is sweating too. What about nut sweat? Did you guys thought about nut sweat? Mm -hmm. I think that that's something that we need to get into. We need to find a cure for cancer, and we need to invent titty deodorant. Y'all work on that while I get into this video. Okay, now, now that that's over with, and I got that off of my chest, well, not really, I still got a little sweat down in there. Anyway, so C Flat asked me a question, and I just want y'all to know that this is probably the second most ignorant person I know on earth, me being the first. Not ignorant as in lack of knowledge, but ignorant as in ignorant or ignorant. Yummy. You know I mean? She said she saw a girl with the perfect booty, like perfect onion, like bam, like now the perfect booty just. You could just put, it could come down the hips like this, right? And then you come around the hip to the side and then when you get around the bottom, you just lift it up. That kind of booty. That kind of booty. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I don't have one. <laughs> Perfect onion. So, she decides, I'm gonna talk to this girl. What, what can I ask her that can get me in the door, right? She says, what year is your car? The girl says it's a 2003. Crystal is like, obviously the girl has a gremlin mouth. This is a classic case of butterhead. And if you don't know what a butterhead is, let me explain it to you. A butterhead is a girl that everything looks good on her, but her head. So now that you had a ratchet life vocabulary lesson, let's get on with it. Now, she's discovered that this very beautiful booty is attached to maybe more than a little not so attractive, a hideous face. So what she wanted to know was number one, why does she still get so hot and bothered when she sees this ugly girl? Number two, how does she back out of the conversation without the girl knowing that it was an ulterior motive? Like, how does she keep the car conversation flowing? And her third question, which I would love to answer is, is this how niggas end up with ugly baby mamas? 
And I'm just gonna answer number one and number two right now. Yes, yes, that is exactly how niggas end up with ugly baby mamas. Because penises don't have the kind of eyes that our faces have. Our face and that eye and our brain is two totally different things in the brain that is connected with our genitalia. Don't let the doctors fool you. There is a brain in there. Trust me. Sometimes man talk to me. Mm. Ooh, child, I can't believe Claire. House of Cards is the motherfucking truth. Do you hear me? Ooh. I don't want to hurry up and finish this season, though. Then I ain't gonna have nothing to watch. I already finished Orange is in the Play. I'm kind of bored, too. Call Jimmy. Jimmy. Call who? I don't even know if I still got his number. I don't you know you want to, you might as well call Jimmy. I'm not calling that man. You call that man. Bitch, I don't have fingers. Exactly. You are not in charge. You are not in charge. I don't know why you have to do this every time. You want the same thing I want. You might as well call Jimmy and stop playing. Or no. So what happens is you see somebody who's not attractive, right? But you see the body type that is attractive. This can happen on both ends of the spectrum because I know a dude, he submit no DVD. And his body is something that God could only have created in a gym and hard work and a good diet, okay? Do you understand what I'm saying? But I wouldn't touch that fool with a 10 foot pole. I wouldn't want his pole touching me because I can't get over the fact that he ugly, but when I look at his pictures, if I just put my thumb over his face, I still look, I be looking out. <laughs> Cause that body is tight. Second question. Why do you get hot and bothered? Because she has an asset that you liked. She has something that you like. It doesn't matter whether it's attached to something disgusting. You like it. So, thank you for tuning in to this episode of Ratchet Life TV. I'm here to stay. You're here to stay. Please keep joining me. I hope it's hilarious. I also have several different things coming up. You better check me out on Facebook and add me as a friend. You better fucking subscribe to me or I'm going to come find you and put Ratchet in your life. And you don't want none of this Ratchet. Not all up in your life. This is my Ratchet life, okay? And if you want to see C Flat in an episode, share this video. And I will tag her every time this video gets shared so that she can see it, so that we can get her ass out here so she can tell her version of the stories.